Today I'm going to show you my best tips and technique for lifting and carrying heavy objects. And this is a follow-up on last week's video where I talked about bending technique for bending down. We talked about the research and why uh, I do prefer the deadlift technique. And there's a lot of great uh, information in that video, so I do recommend watching that. Uh, but we have three heavy or awkward sized objects here, and we're going to talk about some different tips for each one. So. Uh, this file box here, uh, we're going to kind of, before we lift anything, we're going to get into the mindset that we're going to lift this in a way that's going to be good for our body instead of damaging. So kind of like looking at any kind of chore or activity, like we're doing it in the gym. And so for, in general, for lifting, we're going to be focused on using the abdominals to pull the pubic bone forward. I talk a lot about pubic bone in uh, other videos and the program uh, as well. So if you want to dive more into that, uh, it's a, very powerful uh, piece of anatomy to be in tune with. And so the abdominals are engaged and they can pull the pubic bone forward to lift objects. And the glutes can also lift the entire torso. They're very powerful. So we're gonna get down and I kind of have like a lot of hip hinge and we're gonna engage the glutes and the abdominals together as a force couple and lift, okay? So this is pretty easy and straightforward. There's handles on this box. But what if the object is awkward, okay? We're gonna talk a little bit about a different tip for each one of these. And so with, with this bag of soil here, we're gonna talk about breath. This is one of the most powerful things you can use to support your spine. And so when we wanna take a, an inhale and contain the pressure, the intra-abdominal pressure of the inhale in our abdomen, which creates support and stability for the spine. And so before I lift anything, I kind of grab onto it, I get, I assess its weight, I engage my abdominals and my glutes, I kind of almost do like a practice lift without actually lifting it, I just kind of get a, get a gauge on it. And then I take, with that engagement, I take a deep inhale. Okay, bring it close to my body. And I try to maintain that inhale with the lift, throughout the lift. And it's the same thing with the lower. So you do have to breathe, but you can let your air out gradually and then take another inhale and keep trying to maintain that pressure. Another thing is you saw me bring it close to my body. Once you get it close to your body, you can actually readjust your grip and I'm gonna hug it to my body. The closer it is to my body, the better for so many reasons. And I can actually pull it into my pubic bone, which is, like I said, a very powerful support zone of your body. And we're gonna use that as a tactile cue to keep the pubic bone forward for carrying. So we'll go ahead and do it again. Regrip. Re and now I have it up against my body and I can carry and I'm using the object as a tactile cue to help me keep my pubic bone forward. I'm keep, keeping my pubic bone up against the object. Okay, and this is, feels good for me. I can feel my abdominals engaged and it just feels like a really sturdy lift. Okay, we're gonna set this guy back down. And that is a wet bag of soil. You can see uh, it rained here recently, so it's actually pretty heavy. As I just watched this video with you guys, I had a question for myself. Uh, so I imagine you may have had a similar question and it was about the breathing. Cause it's like, well, how you're, you're using your inhale to create intra-abdominal pressure, which is you say very valuable, right? But, and you have to breathe while you're carrying the object. So aren't you losing that pressure? And so how do you, how do you navigate that? Because that's really one of the hardest things to do and one of the most important things to do is, is the endurance and the stamina of keeping those, all those spinal support muscles engaged for not just one burst, but you know, which is the lift. And that's kind of a lot easier to do than to maintain their engagement and continue to support the spine for a longer period of time. My approach and my technique is kind of like big inhale and I feel that pressure increase and that's like max stability 
when I first do that. And that's when I do the lift. And so I'm doing the actual lift under max spinal stability. And then when it's time, when I have to carry the object, I'll let the air out kind of slowly. Like, so it's, it'll be like, like slow, like blowing through a straw and then, and then refill. So I'm not actually emptying my lungs all the way. And, and so there is still remaining pressure in my abdomen for the spinal support. And it is really one of the most valuable things that I use to protect my spine when I carry heavy objects. So you're only exhaling like half your air. And so you're not losing all the pressure. But the other thing is when you make your lips into like a pursed lip and you're kind of like blowing through a straw, that is resistance to the exhale. And when the exhale has resistance, that in itself creates abdominal tension. So it increases your abdominal engagement and support for your spine. So it's a, like a little hack for get, getting the abdominals to stay engaged. And there you have it. So uh, just to review, we talked about approaching it mindset wise as a gym lift that's going to help your body strengthening your abdominals and your glutes also taking that deep breath to increase the intra-abdominal pressure and support your spine with that stability that the pressure gives your spine uh, we talked about keeping the object up against your body really pulling it in and hugging it into your body so your pubic bone is up against it. We talked about doing a little bit of a practice lift to get just to warm up that muscle engagement before doing the actual lift. I find that to be really powerful. So you just do that practice lift and those muscles kind of get a little warm up and then deep breath and go right into it. So hopefully that helps and feel free to give this video a like if you found it helpful and uh, subscribe if you like content like this.